pros and cons of living in Twin Falls, Idaho. You should watch this video today because you are gonna have a good understanding by the end of it of whether or not you could call Twin Falls, Idaho home. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Craig Flood. I'm a real estate agent and I'm your guide to relocating to Idaho. If you're curious to learn everything there is to Idaho, what the different cities are like, what it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, and what it's like to buy real estate here, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. So in today's video, we're gonna cover the pros and the cons of living in Twin Falls, Idaho. We're gonna talk about things like Twin Falls location and how it's perfectly located, really centrally in the Southern part of the state. We're gonna talk about what makes it a great place to live and call home. We'll talk about home prices, what weather is like, and we'll talk about some of the cons, one of the big ones being wind. And my hope by the end of this video is that you're gonna have a really good understanding of whether or not you could call Twin Falls home or if maybe you need to keep looking for another city in Idaho that suits you better. Before we jump into the pros and cons though, let me just give you a quick overview of Twin Falls so you know kind of where it is. Here, as you see on the map, Twin Falls is located very centrally in Southern Idaho. It's not too far east, it's not too far west, which puts you kind of right in the middle and gives you great access to a lot of major cities and amenities in Southern Idaho. So whether you wanna go west to Boise or east to say Pocatello, or you wanna drop down to Salt Lake City, or you wanna hop up to Sun Valley, again, you are centrally located to all those areas, which is definitely a plus when considering a move to Twin Falls, Idaho. All right, let's jump into the pros of living in Twin Falls. Twin Falls is a small town, about 50,000 people, and everything that comes along with a small town is what you're gonna get there. So think low traffic, think small town community where you can kind of get to know people, think safety. I know safety is a big thing for a lot of you as you guys are considering a move. I know it's one reason why you might be leaving the state that you're currently in. Another great thing about Twin Falls, Idaho is the outdoor beauty and the outdoor activities. If you were to hop on and do a quick Google search of Twin Falls, Idaho, you would quickly see a very unique feature, which would be the Snake River Canyon butted up right against Twin Falls with a very iconic bridge cutting you over the canyon and you can't help but kind of be awestruck by that image and that scenery. It's very, very unique. Now, speaking of that, in terms of activities, you have the Snake River Canyon down below, which is great for boating, kayaking, stand up paddleboarding. In addition to that, you have that classic bridge where people can legally base jump from it. In addition to the Snake River Canyon, you have other bodies of water that offer great opportunities for recreating on. This includes Wilson Lake Reservoir, Hagerman Wildlife Management Area, and Murtaugh Lake. So again, if you're into boating or kayaking or stand-up paddleboarding, you can absolutely do that in the Twin Falls area in some really, really beautiful locations. And I'll add this in, I'm a big fan of fishing and if you're into fishing as well, you can do that in this area. Whether you wanna stay local and fish in some of the local areas or you could head north and hit some really world-class areas on your way up to Sun Valley. And some other activities I wanna mention is gonna be biking, there's lots of biking around the area, hiking, and also golfing. So if you're into golf, there is a world-renowned golf course in Twin Falls, Idaho, and that's gonna be Blue Lakes Country Club. And if you envision wanting to golf at a very picturesque golfing course, then look no further than this. This is beautifully located in the Snake River Canyon, and it just kinda doesn't feel real, the landscape and the setting of this golf course. So if golfing is something that you really enjoy and that's something that you wanna do in the place where you move to, then Twin Falls, again, could be a great option for you. Now let's talk about the town and some of the amenities that it offers you. I think a good saying with small towns is that you're typically gonna find everything you need, but maybe not everything you want. There is a mall in town. There are different shops scattered around. There's kind of like the new area where you have newer construction. And then you also have the old downtown area with kind of beautiful shops, great for walking with parks nearby. In terms of grocery stores, some options that you're gonna have are gonna be Costco. So if Costco's high up on your list, Twin Falls does have that. In addition to that, you're gonna get a Walmart, a Winco, Albertsons, and Fred Meyers. And then next month, October, 2023, you're gonna get a Natural Grocers, which is coming to town. Now let's talk about housing. When considering a city in Idaho, one of the big factors that can kind of direct you where you wanna go is what you're gonna pay for a house. Maybe you're retiring and you really wanna have some money left over after you purchase a home, or maybe it's a first time home purchase. 
Twin Falls could be a good option for you, especially compared to some of the other surrounding areas and what the average or median home price is. Now, currently, median home sales in the Twin Falls area fall right in that 365,000 range, which I know for a lot of you is a breath of fresh air compared to what you're seeing in other areas of the state. Speaking of homes, I wanted to thank our sponsor for today's video, which is going to be Goffin Heritage Homes. If you're thinking about moving to Twin Falls, Idaho, and you are wanting a custom home, then be sure to check out Goffin Heritage Homes. They have a long heritage of building in Twin Falls, Idaho, and have a proven track record of bringing home buyers through the process of doing a custom home, because we all know it's not easy, and making it so that you end up with exactly what you want. If you're curious to learn more about them, you can check the links in the description below. Now I want to touch on weather. So you're going to get all four seasons if you move to Twin Falls, Idaho. In fact, anywhere you go in the state, you're going to get all four seasons. And if you're from out of state, that might be something you're really looking forward to. Another thing I want to talk about is, well, what are you going to do in the wintertime? Say you're not used to having winter or you're just curious what there is to do in the wintertime when summer kind of shuts down. And again, if you enjoy the outdoors, there's lots of things you can do in the winter, whether that's skiing, snowmobiling, hunting, or just getting out and going for walks in the beautiful sunshine with some snow around. In terms of ski locations, you're gonna have roughly three options that are close by to you. The first one being Sun Valley Ski Resort. That's gonna be an hour and 50 minutes north of you. Then you're gonna have Magic Mountain Ski Resort. That's gonna be about an hour south. And then you're gonna have Pomerel, which is gonna be southeast, about an hour and 20 minutes from Twin Falls, Idaho. And then, like I said too, you're gonna have hunting. And if you're into hunting, you're gonna love Twin Falls and all the options that you have for hunting, especially in the fall time. You can go hunting for things like elk, bear, mountain lion, and gray wolves. And the final pro that I wanna talk about in relation to Twin Falls is gonna be the political climate. Again, I know this is a big reason that some of you are considering a move, and Twin Falls definitely kinda of leans red and Republican. But people are, are pretty laid back about this. You can feel like it it's not being crammed down your throat and it, it doesn't consume their lives. I think one couple who moved up here from California kind of said it rightly where when they moved away from California, they're just like, man, the political scene was just so loud. Yes, there are certain things that we believe here. Yes, we do lean a certain way and we love our state because of it. But at the same time, it just isn't that loud. It's not as in your face. On the flip side of that, though, people are really protective of it. Uh, and they don't want to see things change here. So just know that walking into this. All right, now that we've covered some of the pros, let's go ahead and jump into the cons. But before we do that, if you're considering a move here to Idaho and you're looking for a guide, me and my team would love to help you. We get calls, texts, and emails every day from people just like you looking to make that relocation and or looking to sell your home. And if you need help with that, we would love to assist. All right, to kick it off with the cons, let's talk about the airport. Twin Falls has a very small airport, an airport that may not be able to cater to what you're wanting. In fact, I know a couple that was considering Twin Falls and they kind of had to say no. Instead, they moved to the Treasure Valley near Boise for the Boise airport because they wanted to be able to quickly get in and out with good prices and direct flights. Now let's talk about weather and the two W's. So let's talk about wind and let's talk about winter. So first, let's start off with wind. Twin Falls is kind of known for being a windy place. The wind can really start whipping through that city. And I don't know anybody that loves wind whipping through things. It kicks dust up, it gets your cars dirty, it gets your house dirty, it knocks things over. So it's definitely a con when you're considering a move to Twin Falls, Idaho. Nobody would be like, oh my gosh, I just love the wind when it whips through. And now let's talk about the other W, which is gonna be winter. And you're probably wondering, what is winter like in Twin Falls, Idaho? In terms of winter weather, things kind of start to get cold mid-November through March. April, things can start to pick up and, and it can start to get warmer and more beautiful. In terms of snowfall, you're going to get on average, I think right around 15 to 20 inches of snow. So it always depends on the year, but maybe you're going to shovel your driveway maybe four to five times in a winter. Now, another con is going to be amenities. Maybe... Twin Falls doesn't have exactly what you're looking for in terms of options, which isn't the worst thing in the world. You're obviously gaining a lot by living in a small town and all the pros that come along with that, but obviously this is one of the downsides. Now, if there is something you need, feel free to plan a trip. You can go to Salt Lake City, you can jump over to Boise. So there are options for you to get things, but 
you might not find that specifically in Twin Falls and whatever that might be for you that maybe you have become accustomed to in a larger city. Another challenging thing about Twin Falls, and again, this also goes with other small towns, is that you might have a hard time finding the kind of gainful employment that you're looking for. Options might be limited depending on what your skill sets are. Now, maybe you're retiring and this doesn't concern you much, or maybe you are working remotely and it doesn't really matter where you live. But if employment is important to you, like most of us, then make sure to do your due diligence and consider what job options you can have there if you're not retiring and if you're not working remotely. So I'd be curious to know what your thoughts are. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'd love to jump down there and chat with you guys. Can you see yourself living in Twin Falls, Idaho? If you wanna talk more about Twin Falls, Idaho or other cities in the state, feel free to call, text or email days, nights or weekends and I would love to chat with you. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.